Hi, my name's Jackie Pearce. I've been working in disability services in Victoria since 1987, so 30 years now. I was really fortunate in March of 2010 to have the opportunity to work on the Every Australian Counts campaign for almost three years to push the NDIS over the line. We needed a really vocal grassroots public campaign to actually turn the National Disability Insurance Scheme into a reality. Since July 1, 2013, when we launched the National Disability Insurance Scheme in the Barwon region of Victoria, I've been working really closely in a whole range of roles with people who have NDIS funded plans. There's um, some assumptions and myths out there that the National Disability Insurance Scheme actually affects people's disability support pension and that's not the case. They're two separate buckets of money. Your disability support pension is your income support, so it's the funds that you use for everyday living, rent, groceries, petrol, whatever you might need to spend that money on. The National Disability Insurance Scheme will fund the supports that you need to assist you to live the life you choose. It's about potentially having staff coming into your home to assist with domestic type activities or yard maintenance activities or having some aids and equipment funded that you might need. If you are an existing participant, um, and that means you've got some sort of state funded disability supports, your transition across to the National Disability Insurance Scheme is pretty much an automatic process. Your name will be on a list and you will be contacted by the NDIS when the scheme is about to arrive in your area. For brand new clients, the best way to think about it is to call that 1800 number that's very clearly available on, on the NDIS website, or to go onto the Access Checker, which is also on the NDIS website, or even just walk into one of the NDIS offices. There's more and more of those springing up across the nation. So you need to be under 65 when you first gain access to the scheme. You have to be an Australian resident or have some particular um, special visa conditions around your residency in Australia. You also have to meet um, disability requirements or if, it, if they're not certain, so if you've got a newly acquired disability and they're not certain whether that's going to become a permanent lifetime issue for you, you can go on to what's called early intervention. In a nutshell, people have three options. They can self-manage their funding, they can have a financial intermediary service or in NDIS language, a plan management agency to manage their funds for them, or they can have the NDIS itself manage their funds. So if you self-manage, you need to be able to um, utilise the participant portal to assist you with your funds management, and that's all done through the MyGov website. If you've got a plan manager, that's an independent person, and the funds for the plan manager or the financial intermediary are put into your plan for you to pay for that service. And then the least um, work for you is NDIS themselves, just managing all your bills and all your service providers just send your bills straight to them and they pay them. Self-management and financial intermediary service provides you with more flexibility and more choice about the service providers you can use. The National Disability Insurance Scheme is about to turn four years old and what I really want people to do is hold on to the hope and dream that we had as part of the Every Australian Counts campaign. The National Disability Insurance Scheme is transforming lives. Deb's a great example of a life that's been transformed because she now has the funded support she needs to, to remain living at home and to remain independent. It's a period of massive social policy reform and social policy change. And so the road's still a bit bumpy. Um, so it's worth keeping an eye on the NDIS website regularly because things are continuing to change. Lots of the information I've given you is, is pretty set and pretty standard because it's out of the legislation and hopefully that's been useful. But just keep an eye on the, the NDIS website to keep yourself up to date.